All right. We just dropped the $121 each for nine days worth of sightseeing in the waterfront area of Seattle. But we don't have nine days. And we can't go to all the sites. You got to pick five out of six. So we can go to the Space Needle. We can go to the Seattle Aquarium. We can go to the Woodland Zoo. We can go to the Museum of Pop Culture. We can go to the Chihuly Glass Exhibit. And we can go on a cruise out here in this harbor. Uh, time is a ticking. Which ones of the five would you pick? Here we go. You still mad at me, Heidi? Yeah. What? Bro, did you tell her I got you into Funko collecting? I ne did. Never mind. This is the Puget Sound, everybody. And these, these whales were painted by Wyland. And he also painted the NCL Bliss. Jenny B. Yes, Tony B. Uh, I need you to not talk to Heidi until she's nice to me. You better be nice to my husband. That's right. It's misters before sisters. Boom! In your face. All right, so we're here at spot one. You, you, you may think we've gone to the Space Needle, but there's a whole complex of things. So we're actually going to do the Chihuly Glass. We have a 9 a.m. appointment. So, uh, bro, you ready to see some glass? I'm ready to see some glass. Yeah. Preferably with some whiskey in it, but... Uh, I don't think that's happening. We'll All settle right. for what we can. What's your budget for buying Chihuly Glass? Uh, $5. $5. Oh yeah, so the parking lot back there had an early bird special, so we got 10 hours for 12 bucks or something, so I don't think we'll be here that long. Looks like they also have some valet parking options if you want a valet. Chihuly Garden and Glass. I may have made a grave error. I thought that this was going to be mostly inside, so I'm short sleeves and it's a uh, it's a little chilly, but look, my brother's wearing shorts. So together we make one warm person. All right, let's go get our ticket scanned right here. All right. cha cha chahule So for the uninitiated, Del Chihuly, a glass artist, 81 years old, from Tacoma, Washington and really known as probably the preeminent glass blower of this era, uh, from small sculptures to large full garden type sculptures. Uh, it's, it's really neat. If you have any kind of appreciation for sculpted art or glass and you haven't seen a Chihuly exhibit, find one. There, there are in a lot of places. I've seen Chihuly in Nashville, I've seen Chihuly in Tampa, and uh, I'm very excited to see this exhibit in Seattle. So oh yeah, I'll show you some of it. Of course, a nice feature that they have here is they've got benches, benches throughout most of the exhibit, so you can uh, can enjoy the art. You can also take a seat. So, yeah, it's a great place, I would say, for people that uh, don't want to do something too strenuous and uh, have a. I don't know how long it's going to take to get through. I'll tell you how long, but yeah, it's nice that they've got the spots to sit and contemplate. What do you think, bro? Pretty cool. I like it. Heidi, 
You might forgive him for the Funko nightmare. Yes, this is awesome. If if anybody ever has a chance to see this, I'm just in awe. It's beautiful. Thanks, Del Chihuly. You got me off the hook. Yeah, so this is one of the more fascinating aspects of the Chihuly glass is some beautiful sculptures indoors, but it's built in a way that it does well outdoors also. I mean, this is not protected from the elements and uh, there's outside exhibitions like this all over the country. So probably all over the world. So yeah, really, uh, really like a double feature. You get to see some cool inside artwork and then artwork in the garden. I feel like that's live music, bro, but I'm not sure what instrument. Yeah, it's... I don't know. Well, we go over there in a little bit. Maybe it'll still be going on. So no movie. So we, uh, now we make our way to the gift shop. The bookstore, they call it. The bookstore. about 45 minutes to get to the Chihuly exhibit uh, the next thing up for us is the Space Needle but our appointment's not until 11 so we're gonna see if there's a cafe or something at the base maybe have some coffee and then uh, go see the see Seattle from the top of the needle so there's the instrument I'm not sure exactly what the name is I'll have to look it up but yeah that was what was making the sounds all right so it's pretty cool we were able to talk to the folks at the ticket office they adjusted our time. We're going up in the Space Needle right now. So it does look like you have a lay on the glass opportunity. Bro, would you lay on the glass? Oh, in a moment. Will you lay on the glass, like uh, lay on the glass? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh. The excitement builds as we wait for the elevator up to the observation deck. Go, enjoy the views. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Bought for a second. And it's back. Wow. <laughs> we rewound. Rewound. Thank you, thank you. Oh, nice. I'll be heading there Tuesday to that dock. Pretty amazing, those pieces of machinery. Are you going to be on the quantum? No, I'm going to go on carnival ship this time. The oh. spirit. Yeah. Spirit. yeah. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Should wow. be fun. Cruise ship season, it's here. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to Alaska. I hear good things. All right, we're arriving at the top 520 feet, 158 meters. There is a cafe on the left. Thank you. Man, do some thanks. Cafe on the left. No, I thought we were going to have lunch. Or... Chris, I'm going to lean again. So this is a, a nice surprise. Not only a very cool observation deck with great views of Puget Sound, but you know they also have like a little spot where you can get some coffee and some snacks. So we're just chilling. Uh, we really don't have a time. The I'll give you a tease. We're going to the Museum of Pop Culture next. There's no time required, so we're gonna probably stay here for a little bit, uh, take in the sights, and then uh, yeah, go uh, through the gift shop, of course, and then head to Mopop. I think that's what they call it. There's the edge water. Jenny B. The edge water. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> Alright, this is a little bit unsettling. <laughs> wow. Dude. Top of the world. Hey, Chris, send me one of these pictures so I can send it to work. <laughs> of course, they have a great view of the cruise terminal that Princess and Holland, Royal Caribbean, and Carnival goes out of. Norwegian goes out of right next to the hotel we're staying at, the Edgewater, but this is the rest of them, so 
we'll be making our way over there tomorrow. We'll probably be on the cruise ship at this time tomorrow. So, uh, hello, Port of Seattle. We'll see you tomorrow. What a fun day, Tom. That's pretty cool, right? There's nothing better than seeing the people that you love doing stuff that makes them happy. So uh, my heart is full. My heart is full. We almost left without this. There's a whole nother floor of observations. All right, so this has revolving glass floor. We really did almost uh, miss this. So I think there's going to be some spectacular shots from here. Interesting. So they've got a little bar area, but the rest of it is... The whole thing's moving. Holy moly. Oh, man. Well, this is a pretty wild predicament. Look, I've started to tally up how much all this is costing. I believe there's going to be significant savings. Make sure you stay, and I'll tell you what we would have paid individually opposed to what we did on the city pass. But yeah, it's a long way down. Oh, no, the exit's passing us by. It's Exit. Exit. I do mean literally anything. They don't fact check us. <laughs> but the opportunity to ask questions lasts for as long as the doors are closed. When they open up, I'm back to the purpose of this job's existence, which is to push the money I mean people through the building. As ticket sales are 80% of this company's profit margin, and the elevator is the traffic bottleneck. That's the real reason why our whole team is here. So, Who owns the Space Needle? That would be the right family. Best, right best museum in Seattle? Best museum, in my opinion, would be the Pacific Science Center. Uh, which is restaurant? Right. Musashi's. All right, guys, here we are just after. Thanks. If I know anything, it's a lot easier to spend money in a place with a cool name. They call this the Space Base. The Space Base. They got a lot of stuff for sale. So when I looked at this from the top, I'm pretty sure the big structure here is made from Lego, but the product that they have for sale under that, not Lego, little bit of a Lego, uh, you know, knockoff, but I'm still going to get one. The big knockoff one does look kind of cool. Of course, you have these actual kind of figurines for sale too. They ain't cheap. They ain't cheap. Oh, wow. And a little Bigfoot. I don't see that Bigfoot anywhere. I kind of want that nano block Bigfoot, too. Hmm. All right, so we're out of the Space Needle. It's about 11.30. We spent about an hour there. Now we're making our way over to the museum. The Museum of Pop Culture. It's starting to bustle here. There's a lot of like little eateries and stuff. So uh, there's a whole complex thing going here. Just cool. Look at this Motley crew going to the Space Needle. We got to get to the Needle, baby. Man, how you doing? To the needle. Hey. Oh, man. I can't wait to see. I uh, can't wait to cruise. Wow. Corn man. Roasted corn on the cob. Lemonade and Arnold Palmer's. Hot cider. Popcorn. Makes a Midwest boy feel good to see all them corn products. Mmm. Here's the deets on the city pass. I'm assuming you can uh, scan that code if, you, uh, if you're at home watching this. But yeah, 119, 121 after some fee or something. But I feel like it's a really good value. It's a wild looking building. Chris, uh, Chris Cornell tribute there. Legendary singer from Seattle, Soundgarden. Temple of the Dog. Temple of the Dog. Wow. Museum of Pop Culture. Wow. Dr. Zayas. Fantasy. So we did about an hour in the Museum of Pop Culture. A lot of cool stuff there. There's, uh, especially if you're into music, a lot of great movie props. Um, yeah, you could probably spend uh, two or three hours there, but yeah. 
thought it was cool. All right, 12.32, we did the Space Needle, we did the Chihuly, and we did the Museum of Pop Culture, all in about three hours. So, uh, one last look at the Needle. We still have a river cruise, and one more thing. But first, we gotta get some lunch. All right, so it's about 1.15, we are back on the streets. Took a little break, now we're heading our way to the aquarium and the cruise area. And we're gonna find some lunch over there. About a 15 minute walk from the from the edge water. Here we go. So there's Pier 66. So if you're cruising on Norwegian cruise line and staying at the edge water, you're very close. Yeah, all kinds of stuff, yeah. Start off with a little sourdough bread appetizer. Epic wedge. Yeah. Man, that lunch at the crab pot was good. Woo, son. But we're full. I think we're gonna call an audible and maybe not do the aquarium and just wait for our Argosy cruise. There's a coffee place here. We're gonna grab some coffee and chill out for a little bit. So it's 3.38 and they've uh, started lining us up for this cruise that starts at 4.05. So just a tip, you want to make sure that you're a little early, like 15, 20 minutes early. So. Pretty smooth uh, boarding process. Got a nice little spot on top. And well, as you can tell, I've made it back to the Edgewater Hotel. This is the Edgewater, this is not the Edgewater Hotel. Fast forward a few days, I am in the Tracy Arm Fjord here in Alaska, making our way, well, through the fjord, and then to Skagway tomorrow. But I do want to kind of put a bow on our value sightseeing day in Seattle. Uh, all in all, the five attractions that we did, the Chihuly, the Space Needle, the Museum of Pop Culture, the Harbor Cruise, and then the aborted, the uh, passed on aquarium, that would have totaled individually $170. We got those five excursions using the Seattle City Pass for $122, so that would be a savings of $48. You can even back the 35 out for the aquarium and uh, so still save $13, $14 doing it as a package. Uh, I guess that's the question for you guys as travelers. Uh, does that seem like a good value to you, saving the $13, saving the $48? 
or would you have rather done those things a la carte? Certainly if there was a couple days to do it, it you know, you really could have extended the time. But all in all, uh, it was a great day of, you know, kind of quick and uh, inexpensive sightseeing there in Seattle. Uh, a really good kind of appetizer for the main meal that is coming to Alaska. So um, all right, before I say goodbye, we're, we're coming up on the glacier here. Let me show it to you. It's just coming around the bend. In about an hour, I go jump on an excursion that I think is going to take us pretty close to that. So, um, yeah, Alaska, baby. Sure hope you're enjoying the adventure. Please show your support by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more. Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.